Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we shall discuss the most powerful and most benevolent of all yogas, which any human being can have in their horoscope, which is none other than Dharma Karma Adipati Yoga. Parashar Muni says this is the topmost of all the yogas, and we have many great personalities like uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj, who was also born with this yoga, and Lord Ram also, of course, and many other personalities that we know. And this yoga is extremely rare. Now, when I say extremely rare, I don't mean that superficially this yoga is rare. Superficially, many people may have this yoga. But uh, today I will tell you why you will see that uh, the, this yoga does not fructify the way the scriptures uh, say, okay, uh, in Kali Yuga especially. So, because in Kali Yuga what happens is everything's power reduces actually. In Kali Yuga you always need support. Therefore, in Satya Yuga, the Yuga Dharma was meditation. In Kali Yuga, uh, secluded meditation is not recommended because we know what happens when we just go to meditate, we either get distracted or we stop doing it after some time. We are very few people who can do it. So in Kali Yuga, the Yuga Dharma is Hari Nama Sankirtan, which means we do chanting of Krishna's names, but Sankirtan, which means we do it in the association of other like-minded uh, people. So similarly, uh, even this happens with all yogas of astrology also. All right, so it does not mean that uh, whatever Parashamuni has said uh, is false, but we have to know how to interpret it according to time, place, circumstances. So what is Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga? So we shall discuss the yoga and then we shall also discuss some of the, of the conditions which uh, are required for this yoga's sustenance and uh, this yoga to fructify actually, all right? And most of the people who has who have this yoga will not be having these other principles which i will mention all right and that is why you will see that uh, this yoga may not give result up to that extent so every yoga gives results during the dasha so many times people think oh i have this yoga no and i am like some uh, great personality well uh, what if the dasha is not coming then in this life that uh, the, you may not get to enjoy that uh, results or those results. I mean, the Mahadasha of them, these planets which are causing these yogas. Okay, so therefore, uh, before you jump and become very happy by seeing good yogas, or before you get depressed and sad and uh, you uh, feel very morose by seeing bad yogas, just see if these dashas are coming in Vimshotri. Only then they can affect your life, all right? But of course, uh, in the Antar Dashas, they will definitely give results. So what is Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga? So the word suggests Dharma, which is the ninth house. Karma, which is the tenth house. Adipati means the rulers. Yoga means, in loose terms, yoga is addition. So this yoga means if the lords of the ninth and the tenth are somehow associated with each other then this yoga is form right and why parashar muni says that this is the uh, sarvoch this is the topmost of all the yogas because uh, these two houses they are the most powerful houses of the uh, of the horoscope the ninth and the tenth and uh, but but the thing is they are powerful but for what Yes, that's the question. They are powerful for seeking spiritual wisdom. Ninth house is the place where you seek wisdom from a guru. Ninth house is where you get. Okay. And third house is where you give. Yes. Third house is the house of Upadesh. People think uh, third house is uh, where guru gives you Upadesh. No, it is guru Upadesh means you give the Upadesh which your guru gave you to others. That is what is third house. Okay. So, if somebody's third house is prominent, the person may like to speak too much uh, without having any substance. Have you seen people? 
If the ninth house is prominent, the person may not like to speak too much. The person may uh, want to gain more knowledge. And if both are prominent, then the person will like to uh, take knowledge and give knowledge also. But now what about the 10th house? Generally, people think that the 10th house shows money, name, fame, power, position, authority, and financial success, which is true. But you have to understand in astrology, there are combinations of houses for particular events of life. Okay, And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, you will find the link to my website down. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him even if you do not have this yoga. Okay. So now, and at the end, I will also tell you what if you do not have this uh, so-called big uh, fancy yoga, then is it, is it, does it mean that your life is doomed? Okay. Nothing like that. So uh, now, as I said, the houses, uh, one particular event of life is because of certain combinations of houses okay so uh, for example marriage is never alone seventh house seventh house is the event of wedding and second house is the family and eleventh house is the fulfillment of desire second seventh and eleventh so similarly when the when the tenth house uh, joins with the ninth house which means uh, there is some link between the tenth house and the ninth house then uh, this person has greater capacity greater capability to um, do spiritual practices in a way that other people are inspired by him or her okay so 10th house also tells you what is your uh, focus or what is your vision in life so whenever the ninth house joins with the 10th house it is like saying doing spiritual practices becomes like the uh, most important uh, area focus area of one person's life and because these uh, the ninth house is the strongest trine tricorn dharma tricorn and the tenth house is the strongest artha tricorn okay um, and it's also the strongest kendra one four seven ten so therefore there are phenomenal results of this yoga if this is occurring properly okay now, uh, what kind of yogas can they be in? They can be in any of the four yoga, yogas, okay? So, what is one kind of yoga? So, let's take an example. If the ninth lord is in the tenth house and the tenth lord is in the ninth house, okay? Then this yoga is formed because they are in parivartana, they are in exchange. Or, suppose these two are conjunct. So, ninth lord and tenth lord are conjunct anywhere in any person's horoscope then also this yoga can be formed okay or suppose the ninth lord and the tenth lord they are aspecting each other okay through uh parasari aspects okay and then there is another situation which is the fourth kind of yoga which is like if the ninth lord is in the tenth uh, suppose and the tenth lord is uh in in the uh, third aspecting the ninth okay or it can happen like this, you know, the ninth lord is in the fourth, aspecting the tenth, but the tenth house, uh, tenth lord is not linked with the ninth house, okay? Something like this. So this is a com complex form, format, the four, fourth yoga. So it, it means one of them is linked with each other, but the, but the other one is not, okay? So, um, but somehow even then this yoga occurs actually, okay? Now, which one of them is the strongest? Of course, uh, the Parivartan yoga is the strongest. So uh, now the thing is, um, wh what are the situations when these, this yoga actually gives results? Okay? The way it is said in the scriptures. Now before I go to that, uh, everybody will jump to Taurus Lagna. Why Taurus Lagna? Because Taurus Lagna has the same Lord. Ninth Lord and Tenth Lord is Saturn. Okay? So many times Taurus people, they think that uh, they by default have this yoga. Well, uh, it is not like this. Because uh, it doesn't mean that both the lords are same. So you by default have this yoga if you are just a so-called or a slagna. It doesn't mean like that. Okay. But uh, now we will see uh, what happens uh, if these yogas, this yoga is formed in a good place. By that, what do I mean good place? Good place means the good houses of the uh, horoscope. Okay. So if this yoga is formed in the ascendant, this is the best thing to happen actually. So in Lord Ram's case, he had uh, Jupiter in Lagna, 
and the tenth lord was in the seventh. Okay, ninth lord guru in lagna, tenth lord mangal in seventh. So they were mutually aspecting each other. So he was born with this yoga actually. So this was there in his ascendant. So this yoga was this was like insane. This was very powerful. Of course, he is Vishnu himself, so that yoga has to be there. <laughs> Who can, who can have a better yoga than Lord Ram? I mean, this yoga, because he's known as Maryada Purushottam. So he has to have this yoga. Without this uh, yoga's presence in his horoscope, then astrology will become useless, actually. Okay. So now the thing is, uh, this, this, this uh, yoga has to be there in a good position. So if you see Lord Ram's case, it was not, not only in the Lagna, but both of them were exalted. Okay. Mars was exalted and Jupiter was also exalted. They were aspecting each other. So this is a very big plus point. If either one of them is exalted or if it is now case the condition one, I said it should be in a good house. The first, fourth, seventh, tenth or the fifth or the ninth. Okay, These are the best houses or if it's in the eleventh house, then also it is a very good placement because in Kali Yuga, the eleventh house supports you if you do spiritual practices. If you don't do, then it makes you miserable. Okay. So, if these are in the 1st, 4th, 7th, 10th, the Kendras or 5th, 9th or 11th, these, either of these 7 houses, then this conjunction is very powerful. All right, Remember this, it's extremely powerful. But now you will say, oh, I also have this, you know, in these 7 houses. So, 7 means out of 12, it is like, you know, 50-55% uh, probability. Uh, so, so out of those people who will have around 50-55% of the people will satisfy this condition. Okay. So then the next condition is these two have to be very well placed by sign. In this case, in the case of this yoga, the sign is very important. So if one of them, so, so let's take Lord Ram's example. So if it would have happened that Mangal would have been in Lagna and Guru would have been in the seventh. So then both would have been debilitated. Okay. And then they, they, this yoga would have still occurred. You see, yoga is occurring and it's happening in the Kendra. So very good. But then it would be a, a low-grade, low low-standard yoga. Okay, Because uh, debility means the word Nietzsche is used. So uh, if, if one of them is either debilitated or not well-placed, then, uh, then you may feel that this yoga is uh, not working or you don't want to make it work. So... The houses will tell you how much opportunities you get. So if it is in a good house, then you will get a lot of chance to do spiritual practices. You will get associated with the community. You will get a nice guru. You will get nice god brothers, nice god sisters. You might get a good husband, spiritual husband or a good wife who supports you in your spiritual path. Good life partner who doesn't necessarily drag you into uh, sinful habits or you know all this crazy stuff which goes on in Kaliuga in the name of money. So your partner may be very supportive, your family may be very supportive, your children may be very supportive, your parents may be supportive, all right? So the houses, good houses will give this external vibe. Then what about the sign? Why, why do I say the sign is very important? Because the sign will tell you how much are you yourself into it. Sign is internal, house is external. Imagine you are sitting here, I am sitting here in this room. This is like the house, but what am I thinking? What am I doing? Yes, this is like the sign. So if the sign is good, then you have a lot of awareness. If both, both of them are in good signs, okay? Good signs means for them, okay? Uh, but if the house is not good, then the person wants to do a lot of things, but is unable to do actually. That is the problem if the house is not good. But if the house is good, then the person gets chance. But if the sign is not good, then you will see the person, although goes to some spiritual community, has a great guru, but the person is not just doing, you know, there's no enthusiasm, there's no uh, motivation, you know, because the sign gives motivation actually. So, uh, this is how important the sign is, okay? Then the next factor I always see is uh, what about the Ascendant Lord? Where is the Ascendant Lord situated? Is the Ascendant Lord helping this yoga? So you see the example of Lord Ram, you know, his ascendant Lord is Moon, which is in Cancer in the Lagna, okay, participating in this Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga. So if the Lagnesh is involved in this yoga, 
then it is like that becomes the focus of your life. That is all that you do. This increases and magnifies the power of the yoga 10, you know, like 1000 times more. All right. And uh, this is very important. And the Lagmesh also should be very well placed. So in Lord Ram's case, you see the Lagna Lord, which is moon, is in own sign with a great friend, Jupiter, which is also exalted, which is... Uh, which is the ninth lord, okay, and aspected by the tenth lord Mars, which is also exalted, and which is also a great, great friend to the moon, actually, okay. And this is also uh, forming this yoga, known as Shashi Mangala Yoga, Moon Mars conjunction or a mutual aspect or parivartan. So you see, in his case, the Lagnesh has also joined. This is like phenomenal. There is, I mean, if the Lagnesh joins, this is beyond imagination. Okay, what happens? And then you also have to check uh, what, what else is going on with the other trinal lord, the fifth lord, all right? Because the fifth house can give you interest, okay? If the fifth lord joins in this yoga, then what happens is you are not doing things superficially. You do it out of a lot of eagerness and enthusiasm and passion and uh, love, basically, which is the fifth house, yes? So fifth house joins, this takes it to another level actually. And if this is there, you are really, really, really lucky. And if you see Lord Ram's case, you will see Mangal. Because for Cancer Lagna, Scorpio is the fifth sign. Okay, So the uh, fifth Lord is again Mangal. He is the Yokara here because he lords a Kendra and a Trikon. But ignoring the fact that he is a Yokara, the fifth lord is also involved in this yoga. Okay, so this is like uh, double, triple, quadruple. <laughs> so it is not that superficially he was doing something, you know, like for example, when Dashrat uh, Kaike told him that uh, it is my will that uh, you go to the forest, then Lord Ram said, All right, if that is your wish, then I shall do it. So there was no hatred, there was no uh, grudge, or there was no animosity against Kai Kai. You know, imagine what would have happened if this would be any normal, ordinary person, right? So, therefore, because of the fifth house, the person does it happily, okay? And again, here, if you see, the fifth lord is in Kendra, and it is also exalted. So, I mean, it's out of the world, actually. And then there are certain other conditions which you have to see, actually. So the other thing is, you have to check two planets. They are very important. Okay. Which are those two planets? Uh, one planet is, of course, um, the planet of Guru, which is Jupiter, none other than Jupiter. Okay. Why? Because uh, Jupiter is the natural significator of the ninth house. Okay. And who is the natural Karaka for the tenth house? It is Mercury. So Jupiter and Mercury, they have to be very well placed, okay? So now in Lord Ram's case, uh, Guru was in Digbala. In Lagna, Guru is in Digbala. Extremely strong and it is also exalted and he himself is participating in this yoga, okay? So if Jupiter or Mercury somehow participates in this yoga, this takes this yoga to another level, okay? And um, therefore, um, you have to see these conditions, right? And now in his case, Mercury was also well placed. So there's, there's some debate about this placement of Mercury. Some say it was in the 10th, some say it was in the 11th. Okay? But anyways, either way, it, it, it's a very great placement for Mercury, either in 10th or 11th. So uh, Jupiter was extremely well placed and so was Mercury. Okay, So therefore, you have to understand that uh, these are the requirements which this yoga has uh, apart from just having uh, the superficial yoga because you will see hundreds and thousands of people will have this yoga but how many of the people will have these conditions which I have told you see there's uh, Lord, Lord Ram had these conditions uh, all of them and I mean of course he will of course he will obviously have it and there are many other principles if you go to Jaimini uh, if the Atma Karaka is involved then also this is very strong if if in the Navamsha also you have this yoga then this is very strong or if in the Navamsha then the ninth lord and tenth lord of the Lakna chart is somehow linked there 
then also this is extremely powerful okay or if the ninth lord or tenth lord of the lagna chart is in navamsha's trines okay so in this case of a cancer lagna if jupiter or mars is in uh, the navamsha's trines 159 of that person's horoscope then this yoga is also very powerful because the trines of the navamsha will show things coming as a uh, practice from the past life okay and of course if there are planets like saturn who also joins in this yoga then the person has the power to do a lot of hard work okay and uh, if sun also joins in this this uh, this becomes like a, a life purpose goal for the person okay the person lives and dies for this actually all right so therefore um, this yoga is extremely powerful uh, but not for money or you know name and fame and all this these things will come as a byproduct of your spiritual uh, activities okay but they should they, they should not be the goal okay so now uh, addressing the last part if you do not have this yoga then what you should do uh, how do you gain the benefits of this yoga without having this yoga actually because if you do all these things in this life in next life you might be born with the dharma karma the pratyuga who knows okay so the first thing that you need to do the first word which is dharma comes from the ninth house which is the house of the guru okay so you should sincerely seek a shelter from a bona fide guru from a bona fide sampradaya okay only then you can expect spiritual progress because spiritual progress depends the day you uh, de uh, starts the day you get initiation actually from a guru which is diksha and without diksha our spiritual practices do not have much weight do not have much value okay so it is very crucial that we uh, take to a bona fide spiritual path so that we can very quickly reach lord vishnu okay and now then if you go one step back and you say oh, but it's good to hear but i don't have a guru what should i do well then uh, i have a video on uh, guru or guru in kali yuga so i'll put it here okay at the end of the video please watch it because i don't want to speak again uh, that about that here and in the morning you can do spiritual practices by you know getting up early and you know like uh, chanting uh, the vishnu mantras reading bhagavad gita reading shrimad bhagavatam and also distributing the spiritual knowledge or if you don't want to distribute yourself you financially help somebody who is distributing you financially help some ashram or some guru or some center wherever you know they are uh, spreading spiritual knowledge so then also you will get the results of this yoga may not be to that extent but because you are contributing in some way you will get the benefits okay or if you cannot do that also then at least uh, invite those people to come to your home you know and then uh, feed them uh, nicely and then invite your relatives invite your friends invite your neighbors and sit and listen with them together now these things are very crucial all right if you do all this and once in a, once in a year or once in six months you should definitely visit different holy places if you visit and learn and then take enlightenment from the sadhus there then you will obtain uh, the benefits of this yoga also without this yoga yoga's presence in your horoscope all right that will be all from my side if you want to watch the video on guru i will put it here and some other videos on the ninth house will be here all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want a consultation from me you can go to my website down in the description section all right and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it thank you very much